Hello everyone, it's Sheila back again. Welcome to my channel. Just a little bit, let you know what I've been doing, what I'm going to do. A little trip to the post office shortly. <clears throat> well, that's what I'm going to the post office to post. Little card again, these are from my Etsy shop. A little hat and a little bobble stitch cardigan or blackberry as I call it so I'm going to walk over to the post office and catch that I think it's 11 o'clock the last time they pick anything up uh, today so parcel so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to walk over with this and get them posted up and Carol knows who they're for <laughs> it's a good job I'm walking over the post office and didn't want to get my car out of the drive it's another weekend that van's been there all weekend all night doesn't think you know you could have an emergency you might need to get your car out of the drive during the night, which I had to do many a time when my husband was alive. Well, that's me back from the post office and it was freezing, the wind was cold. It's not as bad as other parts of the country, you know, I've got those really high winds, but I made sure I was well wrapped up. But I do need to get that scarf knitted that I'm going to do with uh, the wool that Darlene sent me. But I feel like Nanook of the North with this thing on. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to take these things off now. Well, that's one thing done. Walk to the post office. This is a really refreshing walk. It was cold and a little bit wind, but it was very refreshing and I, I enjoyed the walk actually. But if I hadn't if I had been going out and I was going anywhere else as well as the post office, I would have went in my car. And like I've just shown you, I could not have got out of my drive. And that's the third weekend running this has happened. I think it was the little van that's there now was there last week. And the week before that, it was some great long, big long estate type car. And it took over all of my garden and the edge of my drive. And I still I couldn't have got out then. And it's really annoying me. I mean, I know this is the, the young girl next door. I think that's where they are. And I was wondering when she first moved why all these cars were coming backwards and forwards. And then I did talk to her and found out that um, she does work from home. She does those nails and things. And that's why there were so many cars and things parked. But I don't think they're doing their nails and things um, of a weekend overnight like. I don't, I don't know what's going on. It's none of my business, really. <laughs> but you just still like to know. <coughs> but um, I haven't had a video for a few days. I've been just not had time, really. I think um, Wednesday I was at my granddaughter's, and then on the night time um, I was out at an Italian restaurant with my granddaughter and a lot of other family, and it was her mother. Her mother's my ex-daughter-in-law. She was married to uh, my son, one of my sons. It was her 50th birthday. So we were out enjoying a meal and a drink and things like that. And so I didn't really feel like doing much the next day. And I wasn't really drinking, but um, I think it was the amount of food I had to eat as well. <laughs> and then on the Thursday, I didn't bother with the bingo. I just did not feel like going and I had to get up early on the um, the Friday because my car was in for its MOT and I was telling them to do a service on it as well and they check one or two little things that problems that I'd been having with it I wanted them to set so that so I had to be up early so I wasn't going to be up late because I know I'd be up late if I was to bed late so I haven't really had a lot done a lot of um, knitting but um you know, sometimes some things just do not go right. Well, 
my granddaughter asked me to do one of these headband ear warmer things for her when she seen mine but she wanted it in a baby pink and I didn't have any Aaron because this is Aaron this hat or headband it's an Aaron but I did have two this is Amelia double knitting and it's always very fine if I put two strands of this together it would make it like Aaron well that's what I thought anyway so I did the same number of stitches same number of rows and everything and this is what I got but it really stretches it's got to really stretch it to get it on my head so it's come out a child's size same size needles and the tension I did a little tension swatch and the swatch was exactly the same as this but it come out smaller so this is on my shop anyway I'll put, I'll put this on my shop for for anyone that might want anything um, like this but for a child instead of a, an adult so that's what I'm going to knit because I'll be going to my granddaughter's tomorrow so I'm going to do this again and I'm going to add a few more extra stitches and maybe it's a larger size needle because as far as I was concerned it should have come out the same size as this one but it did not and then my other mistake this is the actually the first sleeve of the red cardigan I'm doing and I've got up to the um, the armholes on it while I was knitting I didn't really read the pattern properly and I'd forgot I've already done one like this I should have known but I was knitting and I was increasing and I got up to where I should have been up to the armholes and there wasn't enough stitches there wasn't the number of stitches I had said on the um, the pattern what on earth have I done wrong here and then I suddenly realized I did the whole welt here the rib without doing any increasing I only started increasing from here upwards and then I read the pattern properly. Oh God, I do remember now. You only had to knit five rows and then start increasing on this this part. So I had about um, four or five increases up after the fifth row up to here. That was why I didn't have enough stitches. So I had to pull it all the way out down to the last five rows down here and start it again. You know, just one of those weeks. And never mind, I'm nearly up to the um the armholes, but I'm going to do those that one for Cheryl first with those <laughs> to get it done for um tomorrow and then I might do a little bit of um this instead of my other own stuff because I have made a mess of what I was doing. But I think this is probably going to go on my Etsy shop to sell because I do not think it's going to come out to forty eight. But I will say after I get it finished and all stitched up because you cannot really tell until things are finished the exact size it's going to come out because when you put the um, the bands on that does add a little bit extra to the um, to the width when you put the bands on but that's something I'll find out when uh, I'm finished but if it is too small I'm going to have to get small wool and start it over again. A bigger size because this this wool <coughs> this is um style craft special iron and this hat of headband thing i'm wearing was what was left of the last one i did like this and the lady sent the wool to me and it did say iron but i think this iron is slightly thicker than this one and i did the same size for this one i think that's how it's come out smaller but these things come to try you and they definitely do try me. So that is my little bit for today and hope there are no more mishaps. I know I'm watching that flaming van doesn't get shifted off my uh, drive before long. And that really annoyed me. You know, when my husband was alive, he was quite ill for a number of years. And there was many a time I had to go out in the middle of the night to take him down to the hospital in the car. If it had been like now and I'd had neighbours like what I've got now where the cars are always parked over my drive, 
I'd have been sitting in my drive, tooting my horn in the middle of the night, making sure they woke up to come and get the flaming van or car shifted off my drive. Well, that's another rant. <laughs> I seem to do a lot of rants these days. I don't know if that's just my age or what. whether we get... <laughs> things annoy us more than they used to. So, <laughs> thumbs up and subscribe. I'll catch up with you all another time. And if you hear about a murder around my area, you know what's happened after dinner in next door.